In probability theory, the multi-armed bandit problem is a problem in which a gambler at a row of slot machines has to decide which machines to play, how many times to play each machine and in which order to play them. When played, each machine provides a random reward from a distribution specific to that machine. The objective of the gambler is to maximize the sum of rewards earned through a sequence of lever pulls. Robbins in 1952, realizing the importance of the problem, constructed convergent population selection strategies in some aspects of the sequential design of experiments. A theorem, the Jitins Index published first by John C. Jitins gives an optimal policy in the Markov setting for maximizing the expected discounted reward. In practice, multi-armed bandits have been used to model the problem of managing research projects in a large organization, like a science foundation or a pharmaceutical company. Given a fixed budget, the problem is to allocate resources among the competing projects, whose properties are only partially known at the time of allocation, but which may become better understood as time passes. In early versions of the multi-armed bandit problem, the gambler has no initial knowledge about the machines. The crucial trade-off the gambler faces at each trial is between exploitation of the machine that has the highest expected payoff and exploration to get more information about the expected payoffs of the other machines. The trade-off between exploration and exploitation is also faced in reinforcement learning. Empirical motivation, the multi-armed bandit problem models an agent that simultaneously attempts to acquire new knowledge and optimize his or her decisions based on existing knowledge. The agent attempts to balance these competing tasks in order to maximize his or her total value over the period of time considered. There are many practical applications of the bandit model, for example, clinical trials investigating the effects of different experimental treatments while minimizing patient losses, adaptive routing efforts for minimizing delays in a network, portfolio design, in these practical examples, the problem requires balancing reward maximization based on the knowledge already acquired with attempting new actions to further increase knowledge. This is known as the exploitation versus exploration trade-off in reinforcement learning. The model has also been used to control dynamic allocation of resources to different projects, answering the question of which project to work on, given uncertainty about the difficulty and payoff of each possibility. Originally considered by Allied scientists in World War II, it proved so intractable that, according to Peter Whittle, the problem was proposed to be dropped over Germany so that German scientists could also waste their time on it. The version of the problem now commonly analyzed was formulated by Herbert Robbins in 1952. The multi-armed bandit model, the multi-armed bandit can be seen as a set of real distributions, each distribution being associated with the rewards delivered by one of the levers. Let be the mean values associated with these reward distributions. The gambler iteratively plays one lever per round and observes the associated reward. The objective is to maximize the sum of the collected rewards. The horizon is the number of rounds that remain to be played. The bandit problem is formally equivalent to a one-state Markov decision process. The regret after rounds is defined as the expected difference between the reward sum associated with an optimal strategy and the sum of the collected rewards, where is the maximal reward mean, and is the reward at time t. A zero regret strategy is a strategy whose average regret per round tends to zero with probability 1 when the number of played rounds tends to infinity. Intuitively, zero regret strategies are guaranteed to converge to an optimal strategy if enough rounds are played. Variations, a common formulation is the binary multi-armed bandit or Bernoulli multi-armed bandit, which issues a reward of 1 with probability, and otherwise a reward of 0. Another formulation of the multi-armed bandit has each arm representing an independent Markov machine. Each time a particular arm is played, the state of that machine advances to a new one, chosen according to the Markov state evolution probabilities. There is a reward depending on the current state of the machine. In a generalization called the restless bandit problem, the states of non-played arms can also evolve over time. There has also been discussion of systems where the number of choices increases over time. Computer science researchers have studied multi-armed bandits under worst-case assumptions, 
obtaining algorithms to minimize regret in both finite and infinite time horizons for both stochastic and non-stochastic arm payoffs. Bandit strategies, a major breakthrough was the construction of optimal population selection strategies, or policies in the work described below. Equals optimal solutions equals, in the paper asymptotically efficient adaptive allocation rules, Lee and Robbins constructed convergent population selection policies that possess the fastest rate of convergence for the case that the population reward distributions are the one parameter exponential family. Then, in Katiakis and Robbins' simplifications of the policy and the main proof were given for the case of normal populations with known variances. The next notable progress was obtained by Bernatas and Katiakis in the paper Optimal Adaptive Policies for Sequential Allocation Problems where index-based policies with uniformly maximum convergence rate were constructed, under more general conditions that include the case in which the distributions of outcomes from each population depend on a vector of unknown parameters. Bernatas and Katiakis also provided an explicit solution for the important case in which the distributions of outcomes follow arbitrary discrete, univariate distributions. Later in Optimal Adaptive Policies for Markov Decision Processes Bernatas and Katiakis studied the much larger model of Markov Decision Processes under partial information, where the transition law and all the expected one-period rewards may depend on unknown parameter. In this work the explicit form for a class of adaptive policies that possess uniformly maximum convergence rate properties for the total expected finite horizon reward were constructed under sufficient assumptions of finite state action spaces and irreducibility of the transition law. A main feature of these policies is that the choice of actions, at each state and time period, is based on indices that are inflations of the right-hand side of the estimated average reward optimality equations. These inflations have recently been called the optimistic approach in the work of Tawari and Bartlett, Ortner Philippi, Kappa Copyright, and Garivia and Honda and Takamura. Equals approximate solutions equals, many strategies exist which provide an approximate solution to the bandit problem, and can be put into the four broad categories detailed below. Semi-uniform strategies, semi-uniform strategies were the earliest strategies discovered to approximately solve the bandit problem. All those strategies have uncommon a greedy behavior where the best lever is always pulled except when a random action is taken. Epsilon greedy strategy, the best lever is selected for a proportion of the trials, and a lever is selected at random for a proportion. A typical parameter value might be, but this can vary widely depending on circumstances and predilections. Epsilon first strategy, a pure exploration phase is followed by a pure exploitation phase. For trials in total, the exploration phase occupies trials and the exploitation phase trials. During the exploration phase, a lever is randomly selected. During the exploitation phase, the best lever is always selected. Epsilon decreasing strategy, similar to the epsilon greedy strategy, except that the value of decreases as the experiment progresses, resulting in highly explorative behavior at the start and highly exploitative behavior at the finish. Adaptive epsilon greedy strategy based on value differences, Similar to the epsilon decreasing strategy, except that epsilon is reduced on basis of the learning progress instead of manual tuning. High fluctuations in the value estimates lead to a high epsilon. Low fluctuations to a low epsilon. Further improvements can be achieved by a softmax weighted action selection in case of exploratory actions. Contextual epsilon greedy strategy, similar to the epsilon greedy strategy, except that the value of is computed regarding the situation in experiment processes, which let the algorithm be context-aware. It is based on dynamic exploration exploitation and can adaptively balance the two aspects by deciding which situation is most relevant for exploration or exploitation, resulting in highly explorative behavior when the situation is not critical and highly exploitative behavior at critical situation. Probability matching strategies Probability matching strategies reflect the idea that the number of pulls for a given lever should match its actual probability of being the optimal lever. Probability matching strategies are also known as Thompson sampling or Bayesian bandits, and surprisingly easy to implement if you can sample from the posterior for the mean value of each alternative. 
probability matching strategies also admit solutions to so-called contextual bandit problems. Pricing strategies Pricing strategies establish a price for each lever. For example as illustrated with the poker algorithm, the price can be the sum of the expected reward plus an estimation of extra future rewards that will gain through the additional knowledge. The lever of highest price is always pulled. Strategies with ethical constraints, these strategies minimize the assignment of any patient to an inferior arm. In a typical case, they minimize expected successes lost, that is, the expected number of favorable outcomes that were missed because of assignment to an arm later proved to be inferior. Another version minimizes resources wasted on any inferior, more expensive, treatment. Contextual Bandit a particularly useful version of the multi-armed bandit is the contextual multi-armed bandit problem. In this problem, in each iteration an agent has to choose between arms. Before making the choice, the agent sees a d-dimensional feature vector, associated with the current iteration. The learner uses these context vectors along with the rewards of the arms played in the past to make the choice of the arm to play in the current iteration. Over time, the learner's aim is to collect enough information about how the context vectors and rewards relate to each other, so that it can predict the next best arm to play by looking at the feature vectors. Equals approximate solutions for contextual banded equals, many strategies exist which provide an approximate solution to the contextual banded problem, and can be put into two broad categories detailed below. Online linear classifier, lin UCB algorithm, the authors assume a linear dependency between the expected reward of an action and its context and model the representation space using a set of linear predictors. Online nonlinear classifier, Uckbogram algorithm, the nonlinear reward functions are estimated using piecewise constant over a functions using a piecewise constant estimator called regressogram in nonparametric regression. Then, UCB is employed on each constant piece. Successive refinements of the partition of the context space are scheduled or chosen adaptively. Neural Bandit Algorithm In this algorithm several neural networks are trained to modelize the value of rewards knowing the context, and it uses a multi-experts approach to choose online the parameters of multi-leperceptrons. Kernel UCB Algorithm A kernelized non-linear version of linear UCB, with efficient implementation and finite time analysis equals constrained context dual banded equals in practice there is usually a cost associated with a resource consumed by each action and the total cost is limited by a budget in many applications such as crowdsourcing and clinical trials constrained context dual banded is such a model that consider both the time and budget constraints in multi armed bandit setting a bandit euro al first studies the context dual bandits with budget constraints also referred to as resourceful context dual bandits, and show that a regret is achievable. However, focuses on a finite set of policies and the algorithm is computationally inefficient. A simple algorithm with logarithmic regret is proposed in UCBALP algorithm. The framework of UCBALP is shown in the right figure. UCBALP is a simple algorithm that combines the UCB method with an adaptive linear programming algorithm and can be easily deployed in practical systems. It is the first work that show how to achieve logarithmic regret in constrained context dual bandits. Although is devoted to a special case with single budget constraint and fixed cost, the results shed light on the design and analysis of algorithms for more general CCB problems. Adversarial bandit, another variant of the multi-armed bandit problem is called the adversarial bandit, first introduced by Aua and Caesar Biancai. In this variant, at each iteration an agent chooses an arm and an adversary simultaneously chooses the payoff structure for each arm. This is one of the strongest generalizations of the bandit problem as it removes all assumptions of the distribution and a solution to the adversarial bandit problem is a generalized solution to the more specific bandit problems. Infinite armed bandit, in the original specification and in the above variants, the bandit problem is specified with a discrete and finite number of arms, often indicated by the variable. In the infinite armed case, introduced by a Gawal, the arms are a continuous variable in dimensions. Dueling bandit, the dueling bandit variant was introduced by UAL. 
to model the exploration versus exploitation trade-off for relative feedback. In this variant the gambler is allowed to pull two levers at the same time, but she only gets a binary feedback telling which lever provided the best reward. The difficulty of this problem stems from the fact that the gambler has no way of directly observing the reward of her actions. See also, Jitin's index a euro a powerful, general strategy for analyzing bandit problems. Optimal stopping, search theory, greedy algorithm. References, A. B. R. P. Caesar Biancai, N. Fisher, P. Finite time analysis of the multi-amped bandit problem. Machine Learning 47, 235 DOI, 10.1023 per R, 1 trillion 13 billion 689 million 704 352. Katie Akis, MN. Bainet, AF The Multi Armed Bandit Problem, Decomposition and Computation. Mathematics of Operations Research 12, 262 DOI. 10.1287 more 12.2.262. Weber, Richard, on the Jitins Index for Multi Amped Bandits, Annals of Applied Probability 2, 1024 a Euro 1033, doi, 10.1211417700558, JSTOR 2959678, ABC Jitins, JC. Multi Armed Bandit Allocation Indices, Wiley Into Science Series in Systems and Optimization, Chichester, John Wiley and Sons, Ltd., ISBN 0 471 92059 2, ABC Berry, Donald A. Fristat, Bert, Bandit Problems, Sequential Allocation of Experiments, Monographs on Statistics and Applied Probability, London, Chapman and Hall, ISBN 0-412-24810-7, Robbins, H. Some Aspects of the Sequential Design of Experiments. Bulletin of the American Mathematical Society 58, 527 a Euro 535 DOI, 10.1090 per second 0002-9904-1952-09620-8. J. C. Jittins. Bandit Processes and Dynamic Allocation Indices. Journal of the Royal Statistical Society. Series B41, 148 to Euro 177. JSTOR 2985029. A.B. Press, William H. Bandit Solutions Provide Unified Ethical Models for Randomized Clinical Trials and Comparative Effectiveness Research. Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences 106, 22387 a Euro 22392, doi, 10.1073 slash FNAUS 0912378106, PMC 2,793,317, PMID 20,018,711. Press, Rogu, Eric. Hoffman, Matthew W. De Freitas, Nando, Portfolio Allocation for Bayesian Optimization, Ferriers and Madden, Whittle, Peter, Discussion of Dr. Jitin's Paper, Journal of the Royal Statistical Society, Series B41, 165, JSTOR 2985029, A.B. Vermorel, Joans. Mori, Muyor, Multi Armed Bandit Algorithms and Empirical Evaluation. In European Conference on Machine Learning, Springer, pages 437 a Euro 448, Whittle, Peter, Restless Bandits, Activity Allocation in a Changing World, Journal of Applied Probability 25A, 287 a Euro 298, Mr. 974588, Whittle, Peter, Arm Acquiring Bandits, Annals of Probability 9, 284 a Euro 292, doi, 10.1214117699446 Our, P. Caesar Biancai, N. Freund, Y. Shapire, Are the Non-Stochastic Multi-Armed Bandit Problem. Siam Jake and Putt. 32, 48 a Euro 77 doi, 
10.1137 per second 00975397013983375. Lee, T.L. Robbins, H. Asymptotically Efficient Adaptive Allocation Rules. Advances in Applied Mathematics 6, for DOI, 10.1016-0196-8858-85, 90002-8. Katia Kiss, M.N. Robbins, H. Sequential Choice from Several Populations. Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the United States of America 92, 8584 a Euro 5 doi, 10.1073-FNARS. 92.19.8584. PMC 41010. PMID 11607577. Bernitas, A. N. Katia Kiss, M. N. Optimal Adaptive Policies for Sequential Allocation Problems. Advances in Applied Mathematics 17, 122 doi, 10.1006 Emma. 1996.0007. Hoffman, A. N. Katia Kiss, M. N. Optimal Adaptive Policies for Markov Decision Processes. Math. 0 Adaptive Policies for Markov Decision Processes. Math. OPA. Res 22. 222 doi, 10.1287 more 22.1.222 Dwari, A. N. Katia Kiss, M. N. Optimistic Linear Programming Gives Logarithmic Regret for Irreducible MDPs. Mass. Optimistic Linear Programming Gives Logarithmic Regret for Irreducible MDPs. Advances in Neural Information Processing Systems 20. Site Cirax, 10.1.1.69.5482. Ortner, are online regret bounds for Markov decision processes with deterministic transitions. Theoretical Computer Science 411, 2684. doi, 10.1016 slash JTCS. 2010.04.005. Philippi, S. and Kappa Copyright, O. and Garivia, are online regret bounds for Markov decision processes with deterministic transitions. Communication. Control, and Computing, 2010 48th Annual Allerton Conference on, pages 115, 122, Honda, J. Takamura, an asymptotically optimal policy for finite support models and the multi-amped bandit problem. Machine Learning 85, 361 Euro 391. AR ZIV, 0905.2776. DOI. 10.1007 per second 10994-011-5257-4. Tokic, Michelle, Adaptive I Micron Greedy Exploration in Reinforcement Learning Based on Value Differences, KI 2010, Advances in Artificial Intelligence, Lecture Notes in Computer Science 6359, Springer Verlag, pages 203 Euro 210, doi. 10.1007 over 978 minus 3 minus 642 minus 16111 minus 723, ISBN 978-3-642-16110-0. Tokic, Michelle. Palm Georgia 1 quarter NTHER, Value Difference Based Exploration, Adaptive Control Between Epsilon Greedy and Softmax, KI 2011. Advances in Artificial Intelligence, Lecture Notes in Computer Science 7006, Springer Verlag, pages 335 a Euro 346, ISBN 978-3-642-24455-1. Banfuf, D. Buzigu, A. Garner Section Arsky. ALA Contextual Bandit Algorithm for Mobile Context Aware Recommender System. Neural Information Processing. Lecture Notes in Computer Science 7665. Pages 324 DOI 10 over 978 minus 3 minus 642 minus 34487 minus 940. ISBN 978-3-642-34486-2. Scott, S. L., A Modern Bayesian Look at the Multi-Armed Bandit, Applied Stochastic Models in Business and Industry 26, 
639 a euro 658, doi, 10.1002 ASMB 874, Langford, John. Zhang, Tong, The EPUP Ready Algorithm for Contextual Multi-Armed Bandits, Advances in Neural Information Processing Systems 20, Curran Associates, Inc., pages 817 a euro 824, Rigolet, Philippe. ZAV, ASAF, Non-Parametric Bandits with Covariates, Conference on Learning Theory, Cold 2010, Slivens, Alex Ems, Contextual Bandits with Similarity Information, Conference on Learning Theory, Cold 2011, Perche, Vienne. Rigolet, Philippe, The Multi-Armed Bandit Problem with Covariates, Annals of Statistics 41, Elisiado, Robin. Far Copyright Rod, Rafael. Joel, Banfuf, A Neural Networks Committee for the Contextual Bandit Problem, Neural Information Processing, 21st International Conference, Iconip 2014, Malaysia, November 3-6, 2014, Proceedings, Lecture Notes in Computer Science 8834, Springer, pages 374 Euro 381, ISBN 978-3-319-12636-4, Michael Valco. Nathan Corder. Ra Copyright Me Munoz. Ilias Flaunas. Nalo Christiani, Finite Time Analysis of Kernelized Contextual Bandits, 29th Conference on Uncertainty in Artificial Intelligence and a. B. Badanit Ayuru, A. Langford, J. Slivens, A. Resourceful Context Dual Bandits, Proceeding of Conference on Learning Theory, A. B. Wu, Huizen. Srikant, R. Liu, Zin. Jiang, Chong, Algorithms with Logarithmic or Sublinear Regret for Constrained Context Dual Bandits, The 29th Annual Conference on Neural Information Processing Systems, Bertini, Yu, Isong. Broder, Joseph. Klinberg, Robert. Joachims, Horson, The K Armed Dueling Bandits Problem, Journal of Computer and Systems Sciences 78, pages 1538 to Euro 1556. Further reading, Goa, S. Munigler, K. Xi, P. Approximation Algorithms for Restless Bandit Problems. Journal of the ACM 58, 1 doi, 10.1145-1870103.1870106. Dianic, S. Powell, W. Yamazaki, K. Index Policies for Discounted Bandit Problems with Availability Constraints, Advances in Applied Probability 40, 377 Euro 400, doi. 10.1239121495020. Powell, Warren B. Chapter 10, Approximate Dynamic Programming, Solving the Curses of Dimensionality, New York, John Wiley and Sons, ISBN 0-470-17155-3. Robbins, H. Some Aspects of the Sequential Design of Experiments. Bulletin of the American Mathematical Society 58, 527 a Euro 535, doi, 10.1090 per second 0002 9904 1952 8 Sutton, Richard. Barto, Andrew, Reinforcement Learning, MIT Press, ISBN 0-262-19398-1. Elisiado, Robin, A Neural Networks Committee for the Context Dual Bandit Problem, Neural Information Processing, 21st International Conference, Iconip 2014, Malaysia, November 3-6, 2014, Proceedings, Lecture Notes in Computer Science 8834, Springer, pages 374 Euro 381, ISBN 978-3-319-12636-4. Banfuf, Joel, A Context Dual Bandit Algorithm for Mobile Context-Aware Recommender System, Neural Information Processing, 19th International Conference, Iconip 2012, Doha, Qatar, 
November 12 to 15, 2012. Proceedings, Part 3, Lecture Notes in Computer Science 7665, Springer, pages 324 a Euro 331, ISBN 978-3-642-34486-2. Weber, Richard, on the Jitins Index for Multi-Amped Bandits, Annals of Applied Probability 2, 1024 a Euro 1033, doi. 10.12141177005588, JSTOR 2959678. Katie Akis, M. and C. Derman, Computing Optimal Sequential Allocation Rules in Clinical Trials, IMS Lecture Notes Monograph Series 8, 29 Euro 39, doi, 10.12141215540286. JSTOR 4,355,518. Katie Kiss, M. and A. F. Feynert, Jr., The Multi Armed Bandit Problem, Decomposition and Computation, Mathematics of Operations Research 12, 262 Euro 268, doi, 10.1287 more 12.2.262, JSTOR 3,689,689. External links, PWMR Bandits, Open Source Implementation of Bandit Strategies in Python and MATLAB, Bandit.SourceForge.net Bandit Project, Open Source Implementation of Bandit Strategies, BanditLib, Open Source Implementation of Bandit Strategies in C++, Leslie Pack Corebling and Michael L. Littman. Exploitation vs. Exploration, The Single State Case, Tutorial, Introduction to Bandits, Algorithms and Theory. Part 1. Part 2. Feynman's Restaurant Problem, a classic example of the exploitation versus exploration trade-off. Bandit algorithms versus A-B testing. S. Bibek and N. C. Zabiankaya Survey on Bandits, a survey on contextual multi-armed bandits, a survey tutorial for contextual bandits.